Hello brilliant people. So today I'm going to want to talk to you about why your manifestations aren't working. Uh, because obviously, you know, when you've heard about the fact that, you know, you can put your thoughts or your intentions out there into the universe and then things, you know, magic happens. Well, that's really cool. But unfortunately, you know, like sometimes it takes a while to for these things to work. And for some people, they really, they do struggle a little bit with their manifestation. So there are a number of reasons why that might be happening. Um, but today I want to actually talk about one of the um, more common reasons that is often overlooked. And yet it's a very important one because it affects not just your manifestations, it also affects uh, other aspects of your life, like your relationships. So, um, yeah. So what I'm talking about here is trust. Now, I don't mean trusting the universe to do its part. I mean, you know, trusting yourself to do what you say you're going to do. Now, why is that important? Um, well, you know, like if you say what you're going to do, well, obviously that's good for your relationships. That makes them more functional. You know, you're more reliable. That helps with your work, all that kind of stuff. But why is that important for your manifestations? Well, it's when you think about that old saying about actions speak louder than words. That might help you understand what I'm talking about here. See, the thing is, is every time we say to ourselves or to somebody else, I'm going to do this thing. Well, the truth is, is if you do that thing, brilliant, uh, <laughs> and your subconscious will take note and go, oh, OK, you know, when when she says she's going to do something, uh, she does it. Um, well, that is a very important thing because then your subconscious, when in the future, when you're talking about a manifestation, when you say, oh, OK, I'm going to manifest this, your subconscious takes note and starts to work on it. However, if what you demonstrate to yourself is that when you say you're going to do something, you don't really mean it. You know, you say, oh, I'll, I'll call you at two o'clock tomorrow and you either forget or you don't call them till six o'clock and you don't send a text, you know, because um, like you don't actually keep your agreements so um i mean putting aside the fact that you know if you're making agreements with other people they might get annoyed with you but it's even when you're doing things for yourself you know when you say to yourself right when i go to the shops this week i need to remember to get uh extra tissues <laughs> whatever it is um yeah and if you don't do it well, your subconscious um, is not really, it, it's watching what you're doing. Actions speak louder than words. And when you don't act on your own word, uh, your subconscious actually, you're training your subconscious to kind of ignore what you're saying. And because of that, then when you say, right, I'm going to manifest this, well, your subconscious doesn't take that seriously either. However, you know, if you train yourself to do what you say you're going to do, even small things, you know, I'm going to take that cup back to the kitchen and you do it. So your subconscious gets in the habit of like whatever she, he, they says, that's what happens. Then when you decide I'm going to manifest this, um, then your subconscious gets onto it straight away because your subconscious knows that when you say something, you're serious about it. So I'm not saying that you don't keep your agreements, but I am saying that if you want to have a functional relationship, not just with other people, but with the universe and with your manifestations, yeah, doing what you say you're going to do is, uh, is really important. And also, of course, it's one of the most important ways to start to express who you really are and therefore remember that you're brilliant.